Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today we're going to talk about the simple four patch. I'm using two and a half inch squares to make my four patches and I'm going to share with you four different ways that you can set your four patch to make a beautiful quilt. Let's get started. I'm using an older machine today that does not have a thread cutter like my new Juki newer machine does. And so it's always nice to have some squares next to the machine to sew together what's called a leader and ender so that when you're working on something you can have something that you can sew together before a seam or after a seam so that you don't have to pull that thread out and trim it off and then it saves thread and it also just is nice to, um, to begin the seam. The machine kind of likes that better. As you can see, I had to start that, um, that first seam there. My machine didn't quite want to start. So I'm going to be putting some two patches together and then I'll be making them into four patches. And I have some green and red squares, two and a half inch squares, and some whites and some light colors. This is going to be a very scrappy quilt and I'm going to show you a couple ways that we can put this together. This first arrangement is just using those green four patches and the red four patches and putting them together so that the green squares kind of move down diagonally and the red squares move down diagonally and I can just join them in rows and put those rows together to make a beautiful red and green quilt. Another option using those same squares would be to put a frame around them. So I have some green four patches and some red four patches. So what I thought I would do is I would frame the green with some red strips and the red four patches I'll be framing with green. So the first strip I need to add is a four and a half inch strip and the longer strips are both eight and a half inch.
putting a simple frame around these four patches makes such a beautiful quilt and of course you could choose any color combo but I love these Christmas colors. I also have some four patches that are multicolored, all the scraps and again these are two and a half inch squares. I'm using all the colors and with these I'm going to frame them with some triangles. I chose two colors to surround my four patches. I chose a, a yellow and white check and a blue color and my squares are four and a half inches so I need two squares for each four patch and I'll cut that square in half diagonally and I will surround my colorful four patch with these triangles. When I was done, they were not perfectly square. I'm dealing with a lot of bias edges here, so I just trimmed all of the squares, the quilt squares here, to six and a half inches. makes for a really fun and scrappy quilt. Using some lighter colored squares, a lot of these are vintage fabrics and I think they're just beautiful. I thought I would add some sashing and corner stones. So I'm cutting some strips that are two and a half inches and then I will cut my strips into four and a half inch segments to go around my four patches. I'll be putting these four and a half inch strips between each of the four patches and then I'll also make a long row of four and a half inch strips with some pink squares that are two and a half inches for the cornerstones. And when I'm done, I think it'll appear to be more of a pink quilt just because all of the cornerstones are going to be pink. So you could pretty much choose your own color to emphasize all of these four patches are, you know, different colors, but when you add a cornerstone, uh, 
of one color, even though it's um, scrappy and they're all different pinks, it's gonna look kind of like a pink quilt when I'm when I'm all done. So here is my quilt with the sashing and cornerstones and those soft, pretty colors, and then the colorful quilt with the triangles. Then we have that Christmas quilt with the frames around those four patches. And then when you just use four patches alone, they can make such a beautiful quilt. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.